Hey everybody, it's Laura. Today my tutorial is going to be an easy everyday makeup tutorial that you can use when you're going to work or when you need to run out of the house to do some like grocery shopping um, and something that's just really basic and easy that later on you can develop from if you want. But this is just my basic everyday go to work. I have 10 minutes to do my makeup. Um, the first thing I did is I just put some lotion on my face. This is the Garnier Skin Renew Daily Moisture Lotion. Um, it has SPF in it. Um, some people don't like SPF, but I feel like with the summer coming um, and just, you know, for any sort of prevention, I feel like this is a good thing to have. It smells really nice. It's not greasy. Um, it's not oily. I happen to like it a lot. So once you put lotion on your face, the next thing you're going to do is, I always use a primer, not everybody does, you don't have to, um, it's just something that I like to do. Um, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. I was previously using the Smashbox Photo Finish, um, but I actually, I like this one, this one was running out, so I figured I'd try something different. Um, I feel like I never stick with the same things from like time to time, I always end up changing them up. So I'm going to do a pump of that. And that's just going to, with your fingers, go everywhere. I don't really put it on my lids because I have a primer for um, eyeshadows. So I'm just going to put it all over my face. It feels really silky and smooth and it just, it dries really quickly. So once you're done with that, um, I use my beauty blender to apply my foundation. Now I previously was using a stippling brush, which looks like this. I've had it, this is from MAC. Um, it's the 107 brush. This is like 10 years old at least, and it's still in pretty good shape. I recently washed it. It's not usually this white, um, but I've been using my beauty blender. So you can use either or, or you can use your fingers if you don't have anything for foundation. I just happen to like my beauty blender a lot. When you get this, it fits in this little container. So it's only about like this big. Um, and then you run it underwater and you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It grows. You squeeze it one more time. You put it in a towel, squeeze it with the towel, and then you have your beauty blender ready to go. So I'm going to use today the Makeup Forever HD High Definition um, um, foundation. This is an N127. Uh, if you go to Sephora, they'll actually match your skin color with, I forget what it's called. It's like this little gizmo that they put in three places on your face and they can match your foundation, which is really nice because I hate that. Like sometimes you go out and buy foundations and then they don't match and you're just like, oh great. Now I have to figure out am I cool tone and my warm tone. And then sometimes they're too white. Sometimes they're too dark. Um, so that's a really nice base to work off of if you go to Sephora. So I use my hand as a base. I'm going to do three pumps. You don't have to use this much. This is just what I do. And you're going to take your beauty blender and I just put it right in there. And then you're going to stipple it on your face. And it'll just give you like a really even nice complexion it evens out all of your imperfections I have like if you see super dark circles under my eyes and I just really like this sometimes with um brushes like some people have these like flat brushes they leave you like really streaky and that I don't like so this is just easier to do and I end up using it also for my concealer which I'll show you use the opposite end. And you're doing like this bouncing motion just all over. Make sure it's nice and blended, get under your chin. There's a mirror next to me and that's what I'm looking at when I look away from you. I just got my eyebrows done and the lady threads them and they're so like red. Okay, so my foundation is applied. This it looks like I look a little wet. And they look a little gray. I won't keep looking like that. It's also the lighting in here. It's a little yellow. Then from there, the next thing I do is I take my concealer. This is by NARS. It's Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. It's also medium one. Um, I like to get my concealers in a shade lighter because I have dark circles, so I like to hide that. Um, some people say you should do like a darker foundation if you, or a darker concealer um, to match your dark circles to get rid of them, and some people say just use your skin tone. I like to go a shade lighter. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this sort of like a triangle. And I'm going to bring it all the way out. You see? Bring it down the side of your nose. Bring it out. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I recently got this. I was using, um, oh my god, I think I have like nine different concealers because I'm just constantly battling finding one that I really like. But I was using Smashbox High Definition Concealer. This one's okay. Um, and then I was also using the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This one's alright too. This one is the same color as my skin tone and I wanted something lighter so I went out to NARS. and I got this from NARS from uh, Sephora. Um, and I just like it a little better. I think I'll save the MAC one for when I get a tan and that way it'll be still a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Alright, so once this is applied, you're going to take the other end of your beauty blender. Um, you can use your finger and just tap, 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 tap. Uh, I don't suggest sw swooping and like wiping it because you're not going to blend it properly. Just pat it in and that's the same thing I'm going to do with my beauty blender. You're just going to pat, pat, pat. And it'll really give you this like nice highlighted pretty look for every day. Just blend it in real well. You don't want to leave any harsh lines. And then do the other side. Make sure you get up in that corner. And then always make sure that you do all of your cream things before you do any of your powders. Because once you do a powder, um, nothing cream will go on properly and it'll kind of look off. Okay. So that's how I put on my foundation and my concealer. From there I'm done with that. I will set it um, when I'm done. I, For whatever reason, I really like to put on my blush before I set it because I feel like I don't know, sometimes if I set it too far down and the blush doesn't go on right, it's really strange. Um, so what I'm going to do to give myself a little bit of color and contour, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish um, Powder in Medium Dark. This is darker than my skin color. I bought it originally when I was tan, and now it just kind of works for like an everyday color. Um, I have this big fluffy brush. It's from Sephora. It's the Pro Flawless... My phone's ringing. Um, number 40, I want to say. Um, and I'm going to take this and just work it in. And then you're going to put it from your ear to your corner of your mouth. You're just going to kind of buff it in. You don't have to be real even with it. You don't have to be real like perfect with it. Because we're not really doing a contouring. It's just giving me a little color so you don't look so washed out. Do it to the other side. And it's almost like barely there. It's really just a little bit of color. It's not too much. And then I'll go on the top of my forehead and underneath my chin. And it's just giving me a little bit of color. I wish the light in this room was not so yellow, but unfortunately it is. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is my blush. I'm gonna use MAC um, blush, it's in the color Dainty. It's this like nice pink color. It's almost like a little bit shimmery, but it doesn't come off like um, super like pink and poppy and stuff. It's really just kind of light. Um, I'm using the MAC number 168, I think that's what it said. It's kind of like an angled brush, fluffy brush. Um, and I'm just going to put that here. And you're going to start at the apples of your cheeks and work it back into that corner. Uh, the corner from like where you, the top of your ear was. So I just kind of do one of these. And work it in there. You just want a little bit of color. Not too much. And then the same to the other side. Start at the apple of your cheek. And then work it in. Now from here, I just got this, I literally just got it like half an hour ago, MAC Prep and Prime CC Powder. It's really yellow. It's like banana yellow. And it is in the color Neutralize. There's like a yellow one, a pink one, like a tan one, and 
purple one. Um, I got this color because I really want to make sure that my dark circles don't come through and it's going to like literally neutralize that. So I'm going to use one of the 100 brushes that I have. I'm going to use one of these. I'm just going to work it in. I hope this works because I've never used it before. And I'm just going to tap it in. And this is going to be my setting powder too. I do have the MAC... Um, Prep and Prime, it's the transparent powder. Um, if you can read that. Um, I usually use that, but I wanted to try this because I really want something that's going to neutralize my dark circles. So you just press that in. And then do it on the other side. Tap, tap, tap. I don't really swipe too much, I feel like. I try to really just um, tap all the powders in. And then you could do it in your T-zone too, if you want to set it. Since this is a yellow color, I feel like it's a little um, brightening, which is really nice. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now I have two different things for my eyebrows. And you can use either one, or you can literally just use an eyeshadow that is the same color as your hair. Um, so if you have like a dark brown or if you're blonde, if you have like a lighter yellow tone, you can use that too. I have this um, Smashbox Brow Tech. It comes with, you can tell what I use and what I don't use. Um, it comes with the two colors. This is in the dark brown. Um, and then, so this is the, the light, the dark. And then um, this is some kind of like glue. I don't really know. I guess it's supposed to like keep it on, but it makes your eyebrows look so fake. Um, so I really don't like that about it, so I don't even use that. Um, and then I also have the MAC, um, it's called Stud Eyebrow Crayon. Um, looks like this. It's like super skinny. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And that's really all it is. Um, and you can use either or. I've been using both. Um, but what you want to do is you want to get in there and um, line your eyebrow really lightly you don't want to make it too dark you're not pressing too hard and then you're gonna do the top kind of follow the natural shape and then lightly just little lines fill in your eyebrows do you see the difference and then here we're going to do the other side. I'm really barely touching my face with the brow stick. I'm like barely touching it because if you go too dark, then you're literally going to look like you have, like you took a magic marker and you drew on your eyebrow and that does not look nice. And then from here to blend it, because they're a little dark. I have my spoolie brush and I'm going to brush them out. Do the other side. And that kind of fills them in. I don't do too much like shaping. Some people like do serious like shaping and stuff, but I feel like that's so unnatural. No one no one's eyebrows look like that, so that's a little ridiculous to me. Um, so the last thing I want to do is my eyes. Some people do it before, some people do it after. To be honest, I just forgot to do it first. Um, but I'm using such light colors, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Normally you do this first, so that way if you had anything that like fell on your face, um, you could wipe it away before you had your foundation. I just didn't do it ahead of time. So this is my primer. And this is by MAC also. I didn't realize I had so much MAC stuff until right now. Um, it's the Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Um, when you go to MAC, they'll have these in like a hundred different colors. And I'm like, well, why would you want one in blue? And what I didn't think about is if you're doing like a blue makeup um, or blue eyeshadows, um, to have a blue under base uh, makes it extra blue. Uh, I use the natural because I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not a makeup artist. It's just easier for me to have one natural color that matches my skin um, and just helps the colors really adhere and then they it helps it pop a little bit more. They're definitely much brighter than just 
putting on eyeshadow by itself because I feel like then by the end of the day it's gone and it was like you never even put it on. So I'm going to be using, if I can find it here, Wet n Wild, um, Walking on Eggshells. It's three colors. It's like a light pink, a brown, and a white. This is like $3 at the drugstore, which is really nice. Um, and the pigments are really nice, surprisingly. I was a little shocked. Sometimes I feel like when you buy cheap makeup, you get cheap product. But the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows are really nice. So now that you have your primer on, you're going to take... Let me see. What brush do I want to use? This is by e.l.f. I got it. I think it was like a dollar at Target. Um, it's a professional eyeshadow brush. Um, it's just kind of like flat and fluffy. So you're going to take that pink color... And you're just going to tap it on. Just on your lid. You don't want to go any higher than that. That's really all. And then you're going to do it on the other side. And then from there, um, we're going to do our crease color, which is going to be that brown. What's that brown color, the center color? I just did the bottom one for the uh, lid, and this is going to be for the brow. And it actually says it on there when you buy them. So you're just going to put a little bit of that product on. And then from the corner, you're just going to kind of go this way and go up into your crease. And it's going to look like that. I use a different brush to blend it. I don't know why, it's just the way I've been doing it forever. So you put that on, and then I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk Tools, number 08. This is also from Target. I think it was like $10. You're going to use that, and you're going to really blend it up. It won't be super dark when you're done. Just keep blending, blending, blending. Now, you don't have to go this high if you don't want to. If you want to, you can. Um, it's just the way that I like to do it because by the time you put on your eyeliner and your mascara, um, I feel like otherwise it looks like too hidden. If you only like do right in your um, lid, it's like it's not even there. Then you might as well just do one color and put on your um, eyeliner and leave it be. I feel like this one is a little darker, so I'm going to add a little more. Okay, and that's all you're going to do for eyeshadow. Remember, this is just like an everyday easy tutorial. And then from here, we're going to do our eyeliner. I'm going to use liquid this time. Um, actually, no. I'm going to use my pencil liner. Um, this one is from Urban Decay. It's the 24-7, and it is in the color Perversion. It's really, really, really black. Um, make sure you have a sharp pencil for this, and you're just going to go like right on the lash line as close as you can get. This color is so black that you really like barely need to touch your eyelid. See. Here's the other side. And then what I'd like to do, um, actually, you don't have to do this. I mean, this is just something I like to do. I like to take a smudger brush. It's like a really short, flat brush. This is by e.l.f. also. It's called the Smudge Brush. It's from Target. It was like a dollar. Um, you can just smudge that back black line. It's just um, 
it won't leave it as harsh looking because this is like an everyday easy look um, and I just want it to look sort of blended and then to the other side That's all you're doing. And then I'm gonna take that white color, the brow color, the light one, um, and you're going to take a flat brush like this. Really, you can use whatever brush works for you. I just have a thousand of them. Um, and you're just gonna put a little bit of that lining your brow. And you wanna blend it. You don't want it to look too harsh. And you really just need a little bit of color. You're just going right under your brow. Then if you want, you can go in and do the crease of your eye. And that's just going to open, open it up a little bit more and um, your eyes just look a little bit wider. Alright, we're almost done. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our mascara. Um, this is the They're Real by Benefit. I didn't uh, put any black on the bottom of my lid because especially for every day, sometimes black tends to run. I've tried a bunch of different products um, and I just like the top lid. I feel like it's just a little more casual. And um, if you do the bottom line in black, it tends to make your eyes look a little closed. And this is so black. This is the best mascara ever. So we're just going to... Al, don't poke your eye like I just did. Just brush it upwards, make sure you really get it in there. Be careful, sometimes I feel like, ooh, my eyes are hurting. Sometimes I feel like I get too close and then I end up hitting my eyelid and then I have black mascara all over. I'll do the other side. And then I'm just going to lightly do the bottom lashes. I just feel like it ends up with so much powder on them that sometimes they like disappear. Especially if you have really um, light colored um, hair. And then we just need some lipstick. I just got these. They're actually from Walmart. Um, they're the Flower by um, Drew Barrymore. They're really nice. I'm actually like pleasantly surprised of how nice they were. This color is the uh, Tender Tube Rose. It's kind of like a darker pink. It's not really red. It's like berry. And that's it. And that's your everyday look. Um, it's really simple and easy. Um, my light in here is not the best. I'll have to work on that. But... This is easy for every day. Um, it's easy for work, to run to the grocery store. It really only took me 20 minutes because I'm talking to you guys, but really once you get the hang of it, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes and you're out the door if it takes you that long. Because once you get good at it, it's like you're done. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.